Well, going to a dog-friendly beach is a great way to cool off and get a break from the steamy sun, but it does come with risk. Sure does. First morning meteorologist Brooke Silverang joining us now with how too much sand can be a bad thing when it comes to our pets. We have some of the best dog-friendly beaches from the Treasure Coast to the Palm Beaches. Sand seems harmless, but can also be hazardous if your dog ingests too much of it. If there's food in the sand, and we've come to the beach before with people leaving their garbage at the beach, he will eat it and he will get sand. So that does concern me, but I, you know, try to keep him away from people's leftovers on the beach. All that sand can easily get stuck in your dog's stomach. This is called sand impaction, and it forms a blockage in their intestines. All it takes is consuming one cup of sand per 40 pounds to have your dog end up at the vet with tummy troubles. Because symptoms usually start in about 12 to 24 hours uh, where they're not wanting to eat breakfast, they might be uncomfortable, straining to defecate, uh, laying around more. Lisa Siucci is a veterinarian at Gardens Animal Hospital and says something as innocent as playing fetch with your dog at the beach could possibly lead to an emergency vet visit the next day. When they go, they do commonly eat too much sand either by biting at the waves, digging giant holes, chasing tennis balls covered in sand. Experts recommend trading out the tennis balls for a frisbee or other toys that don't collect as much sand. I think just being aware of it is helpful because I think so many people think, oh, they're just eating sand and they'll poop it out. Uh, and so a lot of times it does need hospitalization and further treatment. Rarely does it need surgery, but that is a possibility, which is also a terrible thing for them to have to go through for a fun day at the beach. Reporting in studio, I'm Brooke Silverang.